Sometimes I sit and wonder where my little life went wrong. These old jailhouse blues have got me singing this here song. I'll tell you about the Mini Educator by E Collar Technology. Uh, this is a super nice collar. Um, I've used it for a couple of days now, and I like a lot of the features on it. It's a lot similar to the Doctra uh, products that I use. Um, one good thing about this one I like is it has a boost button, which uh, instead of having to adjust the dial on the uh, transmitter itself, you can just hit the red button and it gives you a boost, whatever you set the boost to from, say you're on a 10 and you want it on a, to 15, you're gonna go up five points. So this will be uh, a momentary stimulation of 10. And if you want the dog is not paying attention to you or something, you can hit the red button and it gives you a boost of five points. So it goes up five and it um, gives a little higher stimulation of the dog, get the dog's attention. Um, some of the other special features on these, it has the, the light, you can turn the light on the collar for uh, nighttime. It'll flash, or you can do solid, or you can just turn it off. Pretty nice setup. It turns on the same way as the doctor with the, the magnetic uh, part. Uh, you can adjust your, your dial here, zero to 100, 100 being high on the setting. Um, another feature that I like about it is if you have it on, say it's on a nine now and you want to lock this position, you can just hold this down, it'll flash. Now it's locked and it, the, the dial doesn't move. So if it gets hit in your pocket or, or moves somehow and it doesn't turn the stimulation up or down on it. And uh, just be mindful that when you unset it, whatever you twist the dial to, it's on a nine now, it can't move it. When I unset that, it's gonna go to whatever the dial set at, so it's on a 53. Uh, it's a very good setup. Um, I like it. The only issue I don't like about it is the remote. The remote's kind of awkward in my hand. Maybe someone with smaller hands, it might fit better. It's not that it fits terrible in my hand. It's just got a this tab on the bottom that you can hook your lanyard to. I'm not a fan of that. I'd probably cut that off if this was mine personally. Uh, but it has a belt clip also it charges the same way like the doctor does with the the double ends on it um, it has a uh, you can change in the settings on this to make this have a tone or a vibration i have it set on a vibration right now um, you can set it to um, you know it has a lot of a lot of different settings versus different settings far as you have your continuous you can set it at continuous or um, Momentary stimulation, which would be your nick, like your Doctra products, and your tone or vibration. Uh, also, you can set it to where it will, you know, like I said earlier, you can set it to where you can have the boost on one or together, or however you want to do it. There's different different settings on it. I'll do another video on how to set the settings on those. I like the system because it's so small. Um, it's very lightweight. It's easy to use. Um, it doesn't. Uh, seem to be any different than any of the other ones that I've used as far as functionality. Uh, it has a good blunt stimulation. It's not a super sharp like the sport dog has. When the sport dog hits you, it's, it's pretty rough. These here are, you can dial it down to where you literally, it's just a, a weird sensation. It's not even, it's pretty much like the sensation you get when you put on the, um, the stems for people that have issues with, at the chiropractor, they put that kind of stimulation on it. Super cool feature with the uh, light. You just, you know, press the button. Get your big head back. Press the button. One time the light flashes. Two times and it stays on. And then once again it goes off. Uh, that's, a, that's a really cool feature for people that are, you know, running around in the cities or things of that nature in high traffic areas for dogs. You could pop that on and it could possibly, you know, save your dog's life with having that light on the, on the collar itself. Um, another feature with changing um, from momentary to continuous the same way if you hold that button in on the back thank you it'll show you one dog system now it's on continuous so every time I hit that continuous on the top and then the actual the, the boost on the bottom that's it on a continuous stimulation right there six on top 11 on the bottom that's your boost you want to hold it again on the you see it switch to momentary and continuous. So now it's going to be your momentary uh, stimulation on the top and then continuous on the bottom. Top, bottom. You can see with the red light also, it lets you know what you're in. So that was a momentary and then here's continuous. 
same with the settings on top here i run it uh, on momentary don't need continuous most of the time especially with having the boost it makes it a lot easier so i can do momentary and then boost to 11 if it's not getting their attention it's a quick boost you don't have to adjust your dial it makes it a whole lot easier and also if your dial is locked at six it'll still boost at 11 but it won't turn up so you can adjust the dial you want it won't turn up but always remember that when you do that and you reset that that it's going to be on a different number so whatever you're running at remember that you're always going to be adjusting your dial on most e-collars anyways so uh continuously because your dog's always going to be doing something different they'll be in different drives but uh that's my little quick review on the uh like the e mini educator et300 it's pretty nice setup i'm just not a, a huge fan of the uh, actual remote itself but i believe once i got used to it I, I would like it pretty well for most pet dog owners it's perfect um for people with little higher drive dogs i'm sure you'll have to go up with the pro series the mini educators for like most of your smaller dogs uh, lighter skinned dogs as i call it but uh thanks for stopping by here's a proper fit um i run the actual light facing forward from the side there the collar on put her here you want it tight to where the prongs are actually making contact with their neck. Be able to get a finger under the top of the collar up here. It's, you should be able to get any fingers under the prongs on the inside. Roll up your excess collar and they're good to go. I don't know if you can see the light. Look up. But at nighttime, you can see it pretty good. I'll attach a video to it of the night, her walking around with it.